Okay, so let's start with uh, Miss Tina, who plays, <laughs> well, my girl Erica Pinkett, who plays Tina oh. in yeah. the movie Secret Society. Let me tell yeah. you. Now, I know this is like your first time playing the lead role. So were you nervous? Was oh, this a sure. nervousness of, of oh, you know, they sure. told you that you had the part? So <laughs> oh, tell me sure. a little bit more about that. Just to be in the room with these goats that are on the Zoom call, okay? Like we, Jeremy Meeks killed it. Raina killed it. Trey killed it. Kelvin killed it. Vincent, I mean, the entire cast, we forced each other to level up. And let me tell you something. I've been on a lot of sets, even from the beginning, from music videos to extra roles, Jazzy, a little bit of reality TV, other yeah. feature films I've done. Um, but when I tell you the the chemistry of this cast was so pure and genuine, like God was all in this. There's no way. I mean, I'm telling you, everyone was just a class act, so professional. We had like there were no hiccups. I'm telling you, it was like God was just, <laughs> no egos, no, no ego, egos, no pride, no, Most no yeah. caddy, nothing. I mean, oh my God, Raina kills it. Like when wow. you yes. it just wow. blew, okay. like the and I couldn't have had a better, you know, cast. Um, yeah. just we prayed for each other, we oh we cried together. Love it. <laughs> We loved mm -hmm. on each other. It was, if I could do it all over again, I would. It was just incredible. We like, all connected to where the second we were on set, yeah. we knew that this was going to be a lifelong friendship yeah. because sure. of the way that our energies just all would just yeah. align. Like, Nothing yeah. could stop no it, not even COVID. Not right. even COVID. Yeah. Yeah. We all came up. Yeah. Yeah. Where she we go? Where's my baby? <laughs> there she go. She in the light. She There's Raina. There's wow. Raina killed it. I'm There's so our proud of you. I love you guys. Wow. We yeah, love you too, 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 baby. Wow. <laughs> now well listen, done. I was I, Raina. I was just talking to Erica about you know first time playing the lead role. Both of you ladies killed it. It was so refreshing to see new faces on the movie screen. Let me say that yeah. first of all. <laughs> and so I asked, I asked, can I say Erica or should I say Tina? Which one? Call Tina, me Tina. Tina. Right. I love Tina. Right. Okay, Tina, Tina. 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 And we're going to call Raina Celeste. How about that? Can we do yes, that? Right. Okay. So these Very are the names we feel like they Tina play in the movie. A bit <laughs> so these are the names that they play in the movie Secret Society. So Raina, I was asking Tina, how did she prepare for the role? And of course, as being your first lead role, how did you prepare for that? And how nervous were you to actually act in your first leading role? Oh my God, I was honestly so nervous. And honestly, I talk, I, I take my hat off to Erica, Jeremy, Trey, every actor that's, that's in this field because I thought it would be honest, I thought it would be easy, but it was very challenging, but it was worth, it was worth the challenge yeah. because mm -hmm. this is something that I've always dreamed of doing. And having yes. Erica there with me, um, letting me know that sis, you got this, you can do this. And even on set to Jeremy, like, yo, don't worry about it. Just open Pandora's box and let those emotions out. Yes. And even from Trey to just taking those baby steps with me on set, like it was, yeah. it was God, everything came together. It was it was hard, but it was so worth it. It was challenging, yeah. but it was worth the challenge. So um, yeah, God is good, and He put all of this together. This 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 my this was my first um, leading role, and I wouldn't have changed it for anything else in the world. Like I love my cast and the crew. Yeah, I absolutely love it. And just seeing you guys on screen together, your your chemistry is just all there. I can just tell this is something. This is not something that's made up. You guys really mm -hmm. have a lot of chemistry. And this is like a, a good looking cast too. Can I say this? <laughs> we, are cast, we are the highest cast. We are the highest cast, period. We had, we, period. I, one one period. thing I can say, Jazzy, we, we had a lot of fun definitely shooting in Miami. And, and that's the thing. Miyasha Coleman is, is a brilliant writer. You know, her, yes. her husband, Rich Coleman, amazing executive and Jamal Hill, you know, him being a director and being in this game for so long and being able to 
bring all of us together as actors and actresses, they don't know what they really did. You know, we became family on set, you know? So, so just to see the outcome of what we, the work we put in on this film, it was amazing. And, and, and I always tell people that I've never read a script like this. I've never seen a story brought to the big screen like this one, you right. know? So, so it was definitely, you know, me playing the character, oh, I wanted to really step out of my comfort zone and I, and I wanted to challenge myself as an actor. And, and it just, it came off, you know, I can't do nothing but give love to the whole entire cast, man, for, for everything that they brought. Everybody was on time. Everybody was, you know, consistent with, with, with remembering the lines and it was just dope, you know? Yeah. And, and I know we're going to be working together on other projects. For sure. Oh, for it, sure. It, it has to happen. You know it. Yeah. It has to happen. Yeah. So I know, Kelvin, you're also a newcomer, a, another fresh face that we're seeing yes, um, in sir. the movie as well. So how was your role? How did you prepare for your role? And were you actually nervous? And has it always been your dream of becoming oh. an actor? Well, it's, it's always been my dream. And I've, I was beyond nervous at first. And then, like I said, Everybody in the cast, they just made it like family, you know. And yeah. uh, stepping in, it, it was, it was, it was just like butter. You know what I mean? It couldn't have went any better. It couldn't have, I couldn't have thought of it going any better. You know what I'm right. saying? Like it was literally everybody. Like I say, took me in like family. We 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 move forward. We we we. Everybody knew their lines. Everybody supported one another. Yep. You know, it, 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 it was it was just like magic. Yes. Everyone literally, magic everyone made each other right step it up. Exactly. <laughs> now, a lot of people would probably look at you two, Jeremy Meeks and um, Kelvin, and think that you guys are brothers because maybe the eyes, maybe because y'all. You know, <laughs> <laughs> can you tell the people are you guys related to each other? <laughs> no, we we are, we are two opposite ends of the coast. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 now, that's but, my brother, but, Harvard, but, Harvard. That's but my we are all God's Harvard. children. Yeah, all God's now, children. From another mother. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so Jeremy, without giving a lot away, you sometimes play the bad guy in a lot of your films. Now, are you okay with that stickler, that typecast being the bad guy, or are you looking forward to playing something or someone different in the near future? Uh, well, you know, it's, I'm not gonna lie. It is a little bit fun playing the bad guy. What? Um, <laughs> you have too much fun doing it. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. It's too much um, fun. But you know, I am very much excited for the future because, I mean, yeah. to tell you the truth, like I'm a ladies' man. Um, so you know, a rom com, uh, you know, you know, a romantic film. Like I'm looking forward to something like that. Um, it's but, in the pipeline, brother. All it's coming. These, it's coming. All these parts in these movies and these shows and just everything is just unreal. So I'm grateful for it all. I really am. Because this is my Jeremy, new Jeremy has some things in the works. Jeremy has some things in the works, Most guys. Definitely. So you Can will you tell us you about will the things be in the works. That. Not too much. We can't talk but, about it. <laughs> just you know, a little bit. Um, like, okay, so, so give, give us a hint. Uh, you know, I. I did six movies in a year. Um, mm -hmm. So this is the third one to come out so far. So I still got three more to come out oh in the next God. couple months. Uh, um, also a TV series, uh, um, a pilot that we just shot that's really big. That's got some huge names. So I'm very yeah. excited about that. That's with Manny Haley. Okay. Okay. Um, oh and you know, mm -hmm. A bunch of stuff that I can't talk about. <laughs> so I I'm so excited because, you know, like I knew that modeling was a stepping stone, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what I was going to end up doing. But once I caught the bug from acting, yeah. like I finally found a passion. And it feels good to know, you know what I'm saying, like what I want to do. And you know, it's like such a Love blessing. It. Now, um, Tina and Celeste, now there are so <laughs> many highs in the beginning of the movie uh, and then and then the secret comes out and I'm telling you, if you would have seen <laughs> my tape when something was exposed, I'm like, oh, oh my God. Like what is going on? 
Yeah. And so, so, so tell me without giving away the movie once again about the highs and lows and why do you think that the executive producer decided to highlight those highs and those lows of the movie? First, start with you, Erica. Tina. And then- <laughs> <laughs> um, the highs and the lows of the film. Oh, you know, every incredible story makes you feel something. Um, I love when I read the script, I love the fact that it was a story that wasn't told before. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it really allowed both Celeste and myself to really display our acting range. Um, you know, the, the comedy in it, the, the, the trauma mm-hmm. in it, um, the conversations that are happening, the people who are DMing me, telling me we changed their lives, wow. that they feel comfortable being wow. who they are. Um, yeah. men, women, all backgrounds, all ethnic backgrounds, all sexual orientations, just in my, our DMs, all of our DMs, just telling us how wonderful of a job we did. Um, I know specifically, specifically that Miyasha Coleman intentionally decided to highlight those highs and lows because, because it's it relevant is. in today's yeah. society is very relevant. These conversations are being had, and this was a perfect time to come out with such a story you know for those who haven't seen it you know we don't want to give away the secret um but they have to tune in amazon prime you have to tune in watch this with your family watch it with your friends you know raise these questions raise these conversations we have one thing about it i will say you know we have to have more understanding and compassion we We have no idea Mm -hmm. the 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 things that people experience on a daily you know what I mean? And so let's t- let's start stripping the titles away. Let's just be more empathetic. Let's be more compassionate. Let's have more understanding. You know, I, I-, I hate labels. I hate titles. You know, it's us and them. And it's us, period. period. And so this movie is just about love, compassion, and understanding. So the highs and the lows that were highlighted were intentionally done very well. Very brilliant piece from Yasha Coleman. Very yeah. I'm, I'm honored and grateful, you know, to have been a part of it. So the, the ups and downs in the movie, that's life for a lot of people. You know what I mean? These, these situations, that's life. I have friends who live this life. Right. And it is really mm-hmm. life or death mm-hmm. every single day. It is not a game, mm-hmm. you know? So I cry every time I see it because of the compassion. This is a film and we got a chance to say cut and go home in peace. Mm. These, a lot of people don't, mm. there's no cut, there's no action, there's no take two. You, there, it's literally life or death. So, I mean, let's just do a better job as a people loving on each other, you know, understanding each other and really let's raise awareness. Let's have these conversations. They're hard, they're tough conversations to have, but they're very necessary. Uh, on, 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 a, on another note, like from the movie, on a serious tip, uh, these situations, you these, there has to be communication, you mm-hmm. know, and they have to, you know, feel comfortable enough to expose themselves to their partner, so oh that gosh. like the movie, this situation doesn't happen because in reality it happens every single day every when day. a man finds out that someone they're messing no, no, with no 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 don't give it away i'm just saying no away. but then but what i'm saying and then it it you know i get it it, it, it happens so in yeah. real life god everyone just communication yeah. with everything Honestly, and that's just yeah. and, that, yeah. and, and that's why I, I wanted to make a good point about um you know, as far as me playing the character, oh, yes. in, in the scenario that that took place and you see this character is one way first, you know, you're like, okay, hustler, getting money, exotic cars, jewelry, yes. he loves Celeste. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a moment, of course, in the film where things shift, but I think for me, you know, stepping, like I said, out of my comfort zone and, and really understanding, okay, I'm comfortable inside of my own skin is trade change. Yes, I'm comfortable at the 
as a man, as a husband, as a father, as a, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. But stepping into the character, oh, what about all of the other yes. brothers that are similar to O yes. that's living this life that they don't even want to even speak about, mm. you know? So then watching this movie and watching my character, it's almost like, oh, wow. Now I can, now I understand it. Yeah. It's, it, it's okay to be yourself. Yes. You know, it's okay to be who you are. And like Erica was saying, you know, just having compassion. Yeah. But people, I don't, I'm going to be honest, and I don't even want to sound crazy, but I'm not worried about what the, what the next man or woman is doing. Mm. If they do them, they doing them. Exactly. If I'm doing me, I'm doing me. You know, it shouldn't be, people shouldn't judge so much. Yeah. And I think this film delivers like, you, you don't have to judge the next man or woman mm -hmm. on who they love or who they want to be with, whether it's mm -hmm. the same sex or the opposite sex. Like yeah. everybody has their own identity. Amen. So, so that's that's what was able, that's how I was able to bring O to life. But again, well, just done. working with Kelvin, yeah, exactly. Jeremy, Raina, Erica, Kevin, everybody <laughs> that was a part of this film. I knew love when me. I read the script, I said, this is, this is a game changer. You know, yeah. I, I've been a part of things. I was on a wire. So I know what, what what's a game changer, what people are going to be talking about years later. Secret Society is going to be a conversation starter years later. I believe that. I believe that. So on another note, speaking of the highs and the lows, the highs were this luxurious, glamorous i mean like I, somebody said oh like the soundtrack and i and, and they said something about some artists that was in there i said you know what to be honest i really didn't hear the music in the background because i was just paying attention to the clothes oh. and the cars and you, you know just the just the yeah. ball and lifestyle it was it was so dope the outfits that you ladies had on yes. i mean <laughs> tell me more about did y'all get the chance to keep the outfits i mean what <laughs> I start with you. the last <laughs> Oh my God, we love every detail. I can say from the designers who are all women and yeah. um, Miyasha's taste in clothes and how she envisioned Tina and Select was jaw dropping. Like when they yelled, it's a wrap, me and Erica was like, uh, no. So we, we taking all the clothes? Do we get back? Uh, no, we don't want to. <laughs> no, but it was, in, it, you know, Miyasha. Asha, like she said before, she was very intentional being a Philadelphia native that she included uh, Philadelphia designers like mm -hmm. Latoya and, um, oh my Milano. God, um, Milano. 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 Oh, wow. Amazing. Yeah. I love her. And so, you know, you guys can see in the cover art, both Raina and I, you know, had those designers pieces on. And then we use many women designers, very intentional, you know. Um, with just highlighting that, you know, we can really be including in high fashion, you know what I mean? The conversations of high fashion. And so she kind of wanted to bring a sex in the city feel to this mm -hmm. type of film. And it was very, I mean, it woke up my girly side. You know, I'm such a tomboy. Yes. You guys always see me like pulling tires and hopping up steps and working out. <laughs> but like, this film really like woke up my girly side. And so now I'm like, I'm Celeste for life. For life. Like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I was like, just her, you know, she was so confident yeah. and unapologetically herself yeah. that we all should aim to be like that, just unapologetically mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. But the world has to allow us all to be unapologetically ourselves. And so it was just beautiful. But no, we didn't get to keep all the clothes. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey. All the clothes. Even the jewelry, I, the I gotta diamonds, be honest though. The I gotta be honest. They let, the keep, they, let they let me keep. They were all real diamonds, all real. Oh my yes. god! They, they let me keep and some it was of so my stuff. Funded. Yeah, I got to keep like my. So funded. Me, Asha, I got to keep a couple of outfits. That was oh, cool. What, what oh, look at you. Oh, I, I got to keep my. Oh, I got to give it to Rich. Rich let me keep. Oh, Rich, let me keep my shoes. <laughs> Rich, let me keep my shoes. Speaking of which, we have the executive producer, writer of the film Secret Society, the, the movie. Goat. 
I mean, the, the absolute gold. <laughs> Young black woman doing her thing. I Me, mean, Asha, girl. <laughs> We talk about this movie, like you jumped in on the latter part of the conversation, but I'm so glad that you joined us. So I know we were talking before and you were telling me that this dream became a book to a film and it did not happen overnight. So tell me just a little bit about the, about your journey because I know it's really long. So just tell me in summation about your journey to the movie Secret Society. Yeah, well, the book came out um, in, in 2006, 15 years ago. Um, Ever since the book came out, I've always wanted to see it on the big screen. Um, in 2015, I actually wrote the script and I was trying to get it shot then. Um, there was always some kind of uh, hurdle or um, something that just made me put it on the back burner. Um, and then in 2019, I saw that Jamal Hill, who directed the film, he posted on his Instagram that he wanted to do four movies the next year. And I... Um, I just shot my shot and commented that we should do something together. He reached out and um, asked what I had in mind. I sent him the book and he was like, I got to be a part of this. It's never wow. been done before and I need to be a part of this story. And now here we are. It's out today on Amazon Prime. The, yes. pleasure, the pleasure of working with all of these amazing talents right here yes. who were humble gracious yes. um committed it was just the best experience i could have asked for on my first movie set cool i love it you. and i was I, I just told them i said it was so refreshing to see new faces on a big screen because a lot of times they use the same actors over and over yeah. you know we don't get the chance to see a lot of different fresh faces and so with this it's it's something new for us and so when a lot of people see it they say oh you know, this. Well, who is this girl? Who is this? So let yeah. me go to Instagram to find out who she is. And then when right. you see, you know, you guys on Instagram, it's like, okay, we would we yeah. love to look forward to more from yeah. the entire cast, like yeah. some type of way in some form. Because I know you're gonna do more movies. I know this is uh, That's what cool. is this? Only the first. What is the first? Uh, the first book, right? But you have two more. Correct me, Asha. She has 10. Trilogy. <laughs> this particular story is a 10. 10. Plenty. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> See, look. Me, Ash? Look, oh, you're going to oh, get in going there? Down. You go, I'm you <laughs> I'm not gonna give nothing away, but we'll see. But hopefully, yeah, going down. is in the rest of them. I want to see everything with Niasha Coleman does. That's what, look, like, every, Niasha, you like, like that. Yes. Oh, like, well, we're all stuck we for life. Recycle like, us. Yeah. Oh, well. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, so I know you guys have a busy schedule today. I would love to keep you guys for like another 10, 15 minutes. But really quickly, is there anything that you like to say to the people who would watch the film or people who are following you right now, starting with Jeremy? Wow. Um, go see it. Like, this story is a story that has never been told like this. Um, it was beautifully written, beautifully casted. So go to Amazon Prime right now and go see Secret Society. Any, any Anyone else? I, I wanted to say, um, I want to kind of like piggyback off of Jeremy. Uh, this, this is a story that I've never seen on the big screen before. I've never read a script like this. Miyasha Coleman deserves everything Every. that comes along Real. with everything that comes with this because just mm. listening to her story and looking at some of her past interviews from years ago before the film even came about, you can see her passion mm. and, and her commitment to this story. And I'm just honored to be a part of it. Like I said before, I want to be a part of everything <laughs> Miyasha Coleman does. And I want everybody to go to Amazon Prime right now and watch Secret Society. Screenshot us on the videos. All my fans been here <laughs> with the videos. Screenshot the, the fashion. And, the, and, and one more thing, Raina Love yes. and Erica Pinky yes. are the best oh, actresses <laughs> in the world. Y'all, like us. I be on red carpets. Yes. I be turning up on red carpets. I be oh like, Raina Love and Erica Pinky, uh, these are the next 
big time. They're already big time, but these are the next big time actresses that everybody's going to be pulling at. You know what I'm saying? So go see Secret Society. I can't wait for the reviews. This joint will be the biggest film in the world. I can't wait. And I appreciate the fans for all the DMs and all the support. Sorry. I'm gonna just say this in closing. Um, thank you again, Niasha, for creating such a masterpiece. Jamal Hill for directing such an incredible film. The whole cast for being amazing. But I wanna say this, the glory does not belong to me. Yeah. It is God's glory, yeah, period. And so we are just vessels that he decided to use. And I'm, I'm honored and humbled to be chosen as a vessel to mm. tell these incredible stories. And I look forward to telling more inspiring, mm. life-changing, incredible stories. And uh, the, the glory is it does not belong to me or any of us. It is truly God, honestly. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, Jazzy, for, for even having us on your platform. Absolutely. I, when I saw the movie, I said, okay, it, it automatically deserves some type of <laughs> light. Like, Cause I've been, I've been telling everybody about it. Like really, I was like, cause I really, <laughs> did not expect this type of, of I didn't expect this story you know I didn't know what to expect but I didn't expect this and it was really really good so Miyasha the entire cast I am so proud of you all I will make sure that I continue to keep telling everybody about it Amazon Prime it is on now and yeah. um, social media is real quick I know we'll have it on this um, this zoom but social media real quick so people can follow you yeah sure at Miasha Official, M-I-A-S-H-A Official, and at Secret Society Movie, and hashtag Secret Society Movie while y'all watching it, too. Absolutely. All right, so anybody else want the Instagram? Erica, Raina. Raina. Erica Pinkett. <laughs> yeah, it's just Raina Love 305. Okay. Yeah. J Meeks Official, Instagram. Uh, a dedicated father series for me. Nice. Kelvin? And, and Kelvin Hill. This is how you spell it, Kelvin Hill, like on your head. Simple as it gets. Okay. <laughs> Got you. Biasha, any last words? Superwoman? Um, I, I, listen, I love you guys. I love everybody that's supporting this film, that's giving us reviews and um, praise. And um, I just look forward to, you know, working with you all again in the future and just making this thing go, this yeah. thing go big. It's going to be epic. That was a pleasure. Thank you for being viral. you. Thank you for being you. Yes. yes. Thank y'all. I you appreciate it. Thank you. Hey. 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 We love you, Atlanta. <laughs> we love y'all yeah, back. I'm telling you, big things happening. So proud of y'all. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. and one last thing. One last thing. The setting. A lot, a large portion of the movie takes place in Atlanta. So ATL, make sure y'all in that thing, stream that thing, tell your friends to watch and stream. This mm -hmm. is we're mm -hmm. we are changing lives with this movie. So watch, yeah. watch, watch, yeah. stream, stream, stream. Absolutely. All right, so I will talk to you guys soon. And um, once again, congrats, mm -hmm. early congratulations. Thank you. All right. Thank so, you. Okay. All right. Bye, y'all.